It was built in the late 1970s to commemorate Indonesia's independence. More than 200,000 people can fit inside the Istiqlal Mosque, one of the capital's most iconic buildings. From the outside, the mosque has looked much the same for decades. But sustainability was one of the main motivations during recent renovations. This mosque is 42 years old and the equipment had not been replaced for a long time. As part of the renovation, solar panels were added to the roof. For now, they only support a small percentage of the building's electricity consumption. And thanks to low flow taps and treatment facilities, water usage has dropped by more than 30 percent. The Istiqlal Mosque's green initiatives aren't just good for the environment, but for its finances too. Since its renovation and its switch to more energy efficient lighting, the mosque's electricity bills have more than halved. In April, the mosque became the first place of worship in the world to receive certification for sustainable design from the International Finance Corporation. The renovations cost more than $35 million, paid for by the Indonesian government. We worked with the Ministry of Public Works to realise our vision of an environmentally friendly mosque. On the outskirts of the capital, worshippers at this mosque started their own water-saving initiatives. With a low-cost innovation, which uses the soles of old shoes to create a stopper to reduce the flow of water. We have 650 uh, children who, who study here about reading Quran. We educate also environment from, from the beginning. The mosque's management also collects rubbish from the community so it can be recycled. People come to the ports, right? It, it is easier for us to, you know, to, to influence them and to educate them instead of we are, we are inviting people. Polluted and sinking fast, the Indonesian capital faces many challenges. Eco mosques are just part of the effort to help ease the city's environmental burden. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.